Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Today we're gonna to do our daily technical analysis update of commodities. We're gonna work our way through the dollar, yields, precious metals, and commodities and ETFs that I follow. I'm gonna give you my financial opinions across the board. And just as a reminder, we do have a platinum question and answer session <clears throat> tomorrow at 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you need any help, uh, you can sign up at finding-value.com. You can still use the word discount in the coupon code to get a discount. And if you want to sign up for a yearly plan, you get even a larger discount that you can see in the comment section. Let's dive in. Let's take a look and see what the markets are doing today. So <clears throat> DXY still working its way higher. Today it was flat, but it's been pretty resilient over these past. Man, that's been at least a full solid month almost. Uh, so the dollar has gained in strength against other currencies uh, and yields have been very strong. That has been a, a headwind for precious metals and some of these commodities. Uh, Two-year yield remaining resilient above the breakout support level still looks good to potentially go higher. Uh, the 10 years coming off a little bit, but again, guys, this is in a strong uptrend. You can see this uptrend move there, uh, and the uptrend is still intact. The 30 year yield also in an uptrend, a very strong one at that. Look how steep that trend line is. And that does have <clears throat> a breakout from this level here. So, broke out, retest, and it is running. TYX TNX ratio up a little bit. That's generally uh, a little bit favorable for <clears throat> precious metals. Um, so we're slightly higher in this. Again, we're at a very low level. And in history, this the levels down here are great opportunities to be looking for precious metals. Uh, so I would say that precious metals actually are at a very good location to be looking. In, in compared to history with how the curve is inverted. Uh, bond price is up a little bit. We are coming up to this support level. It is bouncing a little bit on it. Um, is this going to reverse? I, I wouldn't go that far, but um, we'll watch it over the next week or two to see what the heck is going on. <clears throat> yields going up means bond prices are going down and yields still look very strong. To continue higher. Gold um, going sideways today. Uh, again, we're at a favorable location for the TYX TNX ratio, but the yields going up like they have been have been a headwind for precious metals, and precious metals have pulled back uh, a good chunk. So we're in a favorable location for where we're at on a yield curve perspective for gold to perform at some point soon. But yields just haven't been favorable in the short term for that to occur. Silver still holding strong today, still looks good like it's going to try to go higher, but again, it is being met with some selling pressure <clears throat> in the short term. Uh, that's what these reversals, they come on up and then it reverses back lower. Uh, so that's what those wicks at the top are. Uh, these guys right here. But again, we'll see over the next few weeks what interest rates do. And that's going to have a large impact on what precious metals and how they're going to trade will do. Uh, platinum looking better today. Uh, you're bullish and golfing yesterday and then the move higher. Um, will this move continue? Again, guys, the short term is difficult to nail the short term. What I'll say is platinum is cheap against all the other metals. That is bar none a fact. Uh, so if you were to look at the platinum to gold ratio, platinum to silver, platinum to palladium, platinum is by far the cheapest metal. Whenever you get in that type of scenario, that is generally when you want to accumulate the metal. Uh, if we back out, we've got our three pump kind of consolidation, the breakout. We had a false breakdown, and it's kind of been held down ever since. Um, I think at some point we will... Uh, move to a much higher level, hopefully outperforming the rest of the metals. Uh, if, when we do that, 
If you hold platinum, it'll outperform the rest of the metals. Then you can swap to the other metals if you want and increase the number of ounces in your possession. <clears throat> the ratio, the good old ratio game. Uh, XAU to gold ratio, continuing to see pressure. We're right on that support level. We gap down um, a little bit today. The CRB index uh, up 0.4% today, and hopefully we can get some traction here and start moving higher. So the way that it generally works is you get a breakout. There's the circle there, that's your breakout. So you consolidate, and usually a three hump pattern. You break out there, then you get a return move. Sometimes it returns all the way back here. Um, sometimes it doesn't. Again, the, it, it just depends. And it's working through uh, this breakout here. It's gonna work out and then it will move higher. That's the general kind of move of a breakout. So is there still some left in this pullback? There could be, I, I don't know, no one knows that. Uh, but a lot of the times you break out, sometimes it, you'll get a full retest, sometimes it only comes to where it's at, and then we rip. So everything looks good for the CRB index to continue higher at uh, in the longer term. CRB to S&P 500 still moving on up, looks fantastic and is outperforming the S&P 500. That is what we want, that is what we're gonna see. And I think we've got a long way a long, 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 long way to go higher. Uh, the runway ahead of us is something like, you know, all the way uh, to this level up here um, after wave five. That is a full revaluation of commodities against the S&P 500. I do think that is coming, and I do think um, that could occur in the 2020s. GDX down a little bit in the short term. We have a little wick at the bottom. I don't know if it's ready to turn yet. We'll see what gold does and what yields do. Uh, it's like that across the board. Uh, it does look like it wants to try to turn here. Um, so generally what you'll see is you'll see a downtrend line. This is on the uh, five the five minute mark. You'll see a downtrend line. See how that downtrend is broken? And you can kind of run it like this. This is a squeezing up a breakout, and then we're about to move higher for SILJ. So SILJ and some of these silver mining companies don't look too bad where they're at. It looks like they're trying to turn, but in the short term, um, I, it carries much less weight than bigger, longer term picture uh, patterns. So that's what we're seeing on SILJ. Could be a short term reversal and we'll see if that occurs. Crude oil up a little bit, 0.3%. And again, I think we're gonna work our way to the upside uh, for crude oil going to go higher. Now, I, I know we had a little bit of a pullback this past you know, week or so, but uh, it looks like it's trying to gather up a little bit of mustard here. Here, we can do it on the short term. And what is that? It is a double bottom. But again, on the short term, guys, um, it, it's not as reliable. Anything can, can push this thing in either direction. So uh, on the short term stuff, it looks good to go higher, but we'll see. And what happens? Uh, news could come out and it could push back down. Uh, anything could happen in the short term. But it looks good. It looks breakout here and it looks good on the longer term to go higher. Natural gas moving sideways to slightly lower today. We do have a wick at the bottom. Uh, that's what this is here. We wick to the bottom, then we came back up throughout the day. Uh, so that's generally an indication of trying to put in a bottom. And hopefully that is what's occurring, is that we get a little bounce here. And we'll see how far the bounce goes. Uh, looking at XOP, yeah, you know me, bullish engulfing. What does that mean? It means that the bullish engulfing is occurring right under resistance. We're at, we're at an inverted head and shoulders. We're about to break. Everything looks really good for that to occur. And today we have a, a pullback, and this is what it looks like on the short short term, guys, so you guys can see. Uh, so we had a pullback here, and if we draw a trend line. We've broken that trend line to the upside, and we could we have momentum working to the upside. Uh, what this is is a short-term um, flag pattern. So it's a flag pattern. This is on a five-minute chart flag pattern, and then we've broken that to the upside here. So everything looks good for <clears throat> XOP 
uh, to try to break uh, the big neckline and, and try to go much, much, much higher. Um, if I were to put this on logarithmic, guys, things get absolutely ridiculous because I can throw pattern up here, uh, throw it on top, and the projection's $845, <laughs> and we're at $147. Um, is that going to be the case? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, that's it's possible, very possible that that could occur. And we're right at the beginning of that potential move. Um, OIH is also throwing down uh, pretty good patterns. <clears throat> Here we are for OIH. Oh, let me do auto. Uh, this is a bullish, um, bullish, uh, not engulfing, but a bullish piercing pattern. So it, it opened and gap lower, and then the momentum came back up and finished above the halfway point. Uh, what does that mean? Well, we have support underneath us. We have a bullish piercing here and a bullish piercing here. Uh, double bottom off support. Uh, this looks fantastic to go higher. If I go into the short term, I'll show you what that looks like. So we generally get some sort of um, pattern coming down. Something on the lines of that. And we've broken it to the upside here just recently. Um, and then we have to, the momentum's to the upside. You can see the momentum coming on up. And now we just got to break through this kind of resistance line that we've got in the short term here. So we have to break uh, this resistance line in the short term there. And, and that's what we're going to try to break uh, coming up next week. So OIH looks very good. It's going to try to do that. Uh, big picture view looks fantastic, guys. This is a squeeze up, a false breakdown, and then we're just ripping higher now. And I think that that could continue very soon. Uh, momentum to the upside. Sprout this good uranium trust, 1850. Remember 1815. We are breaking back to the upside. So what happened? What occurred here? Well, we've been hit our, we've been slamming our heads on this resistance line. So let's go back. We slammed it. Hold on back. There's our low. Slammed it. Hold on back. Slammed it. Hold on back. Slammed it. Hold on back. Notice that these guys are getting smaller and smaller as we go. We slammed it up. Hold on back. And we are ripping to the upside. So uh, I think that's that we are very close to a potential move uh, where we break out and start to run. Now, we're getting closer. It doesn't mean that will happen immediately, but it could happen immediately. So this is a bullish engulfing today. Very bullish candlestick. It finished very strong. If you look at the daily candlestick, look how strong this thing is. Boom. Higher. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of resistance up here at 1850. But very strong move today. It looks very good. And let's hope we can rip here. This is on the weeklies. And we can rip to the upside. Very soon. URA, um, liking that type of move. Big bullish engulfing today. Bullish engulfing are reversal patterns. We are ready to rip. If it wants to rip, it's there. The, the alignment's there. Uh, this is the, the pattern that we're looking for. Um, we've got a downtrend line that's been broken and we're ripping to the upside. So that's that reversal pattern today. Looks really good to rip on higher. URNM, bullish engulfing, big candlestick. The green army is showing up. Looks very bullish to continue to the upside. There's the weeklies and, and it's just a matter of time, guys. It's coming. Uh, URNJ also up uh, four and a half percent or so. Um, looking very strong. Nice bounce off that support. And guys, I can't wait for this to just rip. URNJ is going to rip it if we go. Uh, look at that tan. Tan still hanging out down there in no man's land. Um, again, solar, I, I don't know how profitable some of these companies are, but it, to me, it looks like we could we could rip at any time to the upside after this pullback is complete. Um, it's It's mirroring this side mirrors this side. Those two sides mirror each other. So that's what I'm seeing. COPX down a little bit. This is your copper uh, crew. And I do think it's real cheap down here. A lot of the diversified mining companies are looking pretty good, pretty cheap. And I think copper is still holding on in this channel. Lithium heading a little bit lower. We've come all the way back down to the lower side. And I bet you we'll get a bounce here uh, pretty soon. That could be one to look at. If you like lithium, um, I'm not really in the lithium camp as much. 
as maybe some others. I have a little bit, but it's it's not any big stake. Um, I'm in the oil, nat gas, and uranium camp. Okay. REMX still heading a little bit lower. Uh, again, I think this is like lithium and all the other ones. It's looking good down here. And we are still in the pattern. S&P 500 holding on today, down 0.01%. Uh, is this a reversal candlestick? Ah, tough to say. We'll see what yields do. If, uh, if yields continue higher, I think this will continue lower. If yields flatten out or reverse, I think the S&P 500 will reverse. Uh, same with the NASDAQ. It's the same exact setup. Right now, momentum's to the downside, and I wouldn't touch it with your money. Um, EEM, merging markets down a little bit. I think the dollar was up. Yeah, dollar flat and yields kind of flat. Uh, merging markets will, I think, perform very well when we turn around here. Uh, they do well when the dollar weakens and when yields weaken. And at some point, they will weaken at some point. Uh, XHB holding on a little bit today, 0.24% after large selling pressure. I wouldn't touch it here. Too much too much momentum to the downside. I would wait. Uh, Moo also having momentum to the downside. I wouldn't touch it until that momentum gets worked up. Too much downside pressure. Uh, copper looks like it's trying to gather itself right where it's at. Uh, up 0.63% today, and we're at a support level, all this support below us. Iron ore uh, looking good to go higher. It's got the falling wedge, <clears throat> and we're trying to break that wedge to the upside. Nickel also heading higher, looking a little bit better than the past couple days, but still momentum to the downside. Probably wouldn't get too bullish on it yet. Uh, aluminum working its way sideways. Uh, looks like it's trying to find a base here. We'll see if it can turn. Baltic Dry Index continuing higher. That looks very strong to continue up. Um, falling wedge broken to the upside, higher low, and then we rip. Uh, Newcastle Coal working its way out here. I, I think it looks good. I would be looking at the companies now. Uh, Bitcoin down a little bit. This thing just got absolutely slaughtered yesterday. And I, I don't know. I wouldn't. I, I'm not. I'm not touching this Bitcoin or Ethereum. Not touching it. Too much selling pressure. Um, this does look like we squeezed up, broke to the downside. You could see this pull up, roll back over, which is a possibility. But uh, I, I don't have anything in this in this mix here. So that's what I've got for today, guys. Thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website if you like. And uh, that's all I've got for today. Um, Energy is looking really good. Energy looks really good. Precious metals, eh. I, I wouldn't say that looks nearly as good as energy. Energy probably looks the best of all of, of, of everything. And if energy continues higher, you might see yields continue higher with it. It might be uh, kind of moving up together. So that's what I've got for today, guys. Um, you know, uranium looks fantastic. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time uh, question and answer session if you guys have answers. And uh, that's all I've got for today. We'll catch you later. This is Finding Value.